Hey guys, today we're going to make a beautiful stuffed brioche. First, I'm going to show you how to debone a whole chicken. We're going to use the thighs for a farce with shiitake mushrooms, the breast to stuff the brioche, and the bones to make a delicious chicken sauce. So, let's begin. First, the brioche dough. Transfer 170 grams of flour on your worktop and make a well in the middle using the bowl. Fill the well with two eggs, 15 grams of sugar, and two grams of dry yeast. Now mix it till all the ingredients are combined. Once combined, add 5 grams of salt and knead it for around 50 minutes. We're not adding the salt in the beginning because it will affect the yeast and make it less effective. So always keep the yeast and the salt separate from each other. After the 50 minutes of kneading, add 100 grams of butter and knead it for 10 more minutes. You can use a machine for the kneading, but I wanted to show you that it's also possible without. Plus, you don't have to go to the gym anymore. Now hold the dough on the bottom and pull it towards you to create a nice ball. Now transfer the dough in a ball and then cover it with plastic wrap. After that, you can let it rest in your fridge for at least 6 hours. Normally I just make it in the evening and then it's ready to be used the next day. Then we can debone the chicken. My chicken weighs 1100 grams. First cut off the wings. Now make a small incision in the legs and snap the joints. Then cut the legs off. Now make a long cut just beside the center bone and slowly cut the breast off the carcass. Do this as well on the other side. We're going to use the bones and trimmings for the sauce. So chop the bones and keep them in your fridge for later. Then make a long cut on both chicken legs and cut away the bones. Also remove the skin and do this as well with the chicken breast. Now there's always a tendon on the chicken loin. Hold it on one side and scrape it off using the back of a knife. Now take the chicken skin, put it apart and then lay it on a silicon sheet. Season with salt, cover them and then bake them at 160 degrees Celsius for around 30 minutes. I wanted to use the crispy chicken skin to decorate the brioche dough, but I'm going to be honest. Charlie and I ate it all, so that's too bad. Now for the sauce. Transfer the bones and trimmings on the tray and toast them at 180 degrees Celsius for 40 minutes. Meanwhile, cut three shallots in half and clean them. Now chop them. Also chop 250 grams of mushrooms. Then heat up a big pot, add a splash of oil and pan fry the shallots and mushrooms till golden. After that, add the toasted bones and pan fry for 5 more minutes. Now deglaze with 300 grams of white wine and also add 4 cloves of garlic that are cut in half and 6 springs of thyme. Reduce the wine and then add 1500 grams of chicken broth and 300 grams of cream. Reduce it till one third. Then pass the sauce through a sieve and let it drain for at least 30 minutes so you don't waste a single drop. Now bring the sauce to a boil and then bind it with a couple cubes of cold butter. Then pass it through a fine sieve and tap the side with the back of a spoon to speed up the process. So the sauce is already super rich in flavor and it's very powerful and a little bit fatty. Um, to balance that out I'm going to add some vinegar but I want to keep the richness and well I want to add even more flavor. That's why I'm going to add uh, a ponzu vinegar. It's just going to give a lot more flavor. It's going to balance out the fattiness and it's going to make the sauce even more deep so let's just give it a little mix and a little taste oh, that's super delicious now for the farce first chop 100 grams of shiitake mushrooms really fine then heat up a frying pan add a splash of oil and pan fry the chopped mushrooms with a generous amount of salt once golden, transfer it into a bowl and let it cool down in your fridge. Now for the chicken farce. For that weigh 170 grams of the chicken trimmings and transfer it into a blender. Blend it till smooth. Then add 40 grams of butter, 6 grams of salt and 60 grams of whole egg. Now blend it for 3 more minutes. Once it's really smooth, add 80 grams of cold cream and when the cream is incorporated, directly stop mixing to prevent the farce from splitting. Then transfer it on a really fine sieve and press the farce through using a dough scraper or a spatula. 
Now transfer it into a bowl and add the pan fried shiitake. Mix this. Then lay a piece of plastic foil on your worktop and spread the farce on the foil. Now season the chicken breast with salt on both sides and then lay them on the farce. Cover the breast with the farce and make sure it's nice and tight. Let it set in your fridge for around one hour. Meanwhile, take an ox heart cabbage and trim the bottom. Now separate the leaves from each other. Then season some boiling water with a generous amount of salt and blanch the cabbage leaves for one to two minutes. Cool them down in ice water and then portion them into the desired shape. Then dust some flour in your worktop and roll out the brioche dough into a sheet that's around 3 mm thick. Lay the blanched cabbage in the middle of the dough and then brush some egg brush on the side. That's an equal mix of egg yolk and milk. Now transfer the chicken on the cabbage and cover it. Then cover the cabbage with the dough. Transfer it on the tray and brush some egg brush on top. Let it set for 10 minutes in your freezer and then add another layer of the egg brush. Now sprinkle a generous amount of flaky salt on top and then press a core thermometer in the middle of the chicken. Now bake the brioche at 160 degrees Celsius till the core temperature of the chicken is 56 degrees Celsius. Once it's baked, slightly open the oven door and let it rest till the core is 67 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, take another 100 grams of shiitake and dice it up. Then heat up a frying pan, add a splash of oil and pan fry till golden with some salt. Also chop some chives. Add both the chopped chives and the shiitake to the sauce. So now that it's well rested, we're going to portion it. For this, I would start with a bread knife. This way you can easily cut the brioche without damaging it too much. And then afterwards, you just kind of switch it up for a beautiful sharp meat knife to cut the chicken. And then we can see the inside. That's so beautiful. Now transfer it on a plate and serve it directly with the hot sauce. Okay guys, that's it for today. I'm super pleased with the result and the brioche looks amazing. I really think that this could be the new beef wellington for Christmas for me, really. Um, yeah, I'm actually pretty sure that I'm gonna make this this year for Christmas. So let's just dig in. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I already had three slices because yeah, the brioche is super, super soft and flavorful. The chicken is so tender and the sauce is delicious. Mm. That's so good. Mm. The mushroom, you can really taste the shiitake. Yeah, super delicious. Like I said, the chicken is really tender. The farce is really creamy but has a lot of flavor as well and the brioche is just perfectly cooked or baked actually um, but it still has a little bit of a crisp on the outside because of the flaky salt and the egg brush so yeah that's amazing mm. i hope you've enjoyed the video guys please let me know in the comments on what you want to see next like and share the video and subscribe if you want to support my channel and see more amazing cooking videos. And as always, bon appétit!